Hey YouTube, Jemmy here and welcome back to my channel. Look at my background, isn't it pretty? Yeah. So, ow, that was loud. So, okay. Hey guys, Jemmy here and welcome back to my channel. Like, comment and subscribe. Um, have, this is an update video because all I do, I haven't been making videos recently and today I just feel like making a video. So let's get started. Update. Years ago, a couple years ago, I made a video saying my big secret and my secret and all that stuff. My secret wasn't really a secret. It was just a condition I had. Still kind of have. It's really complicated to say. It's uncurable. Um, it's called ulcerative colitis. It's a bowel condition. Embarrassing topic stuff. But what I'm about to show you could be alarming or triggering so warning I now I have I don't know how to explain it or the exact word or how to say it but I have <clears throat> I have a stoma bag recently I was in hospital and with my condition it was just getting really bad I wasn't eating properly I was being sick in the house went to hospital had a Got a scope done, a colonoscopy, or I don't know how you say it, which is a camera up your back passage. And it's getting pretty bad, and there was like methods, different medications. But the last option, and I knew this option would finally come, is a stoma bag, which is, and the one I got, there's like three or different types of ones. So I got one called, it's like I L E O stomia, Eleostomia or something, I think that's how you say it. And yes. What I'm about to show you, it's on my stomach. I'm not going to show you the stoma because that's, it's red, it's hard to explain. But I don't show that. I'm just showing you the bag, which is now on my stomach. And it was a keyhole surgery kind of thing. And yeah, so I'll just show you. I got it done on Friday the 5th of October, the operation. On Wednesday, I got the scope done. And I'm like, I got home there. I don't know, can't remember when. I am on steroids, so a little bit chubby or whatever in the face. But I'm going slowly down them and I'll be off them. And I'm on other medications. I used to be on VSL, Nazazeline, Azathioprine. I think I showed that showed you that years ago or a couple months ago in a video. I'm not on them anymore. Um so a stoma bag is kind of like oh, it was an operation. So my large intestine where it's kind of inflamed is now gone but it's still at the tip of my tail end back passage area so I still kind of do have all sorts of colitis but kind of don't but it's complicated but more in the future there'll be two different options either keep the bag for the rest of my life or something else but I don't even know but yeah triggering if it is triggering look away I'm about to show you so this is what it looks like this is what it looks like um, as you can see, this is where the red, the stoma actually is. So, and you can see like little things. You can see my thing. You can actually see my spine. I need to eat more, like after surgery and all that kind of stuff. But I'm eating good, so that's good. Um, so this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like. So keep it here for my clothes and you can't really wear jeans or jeggings because they're a bit tight and that's not good because I pass wind through the bag but I pee normally and um, my output and my wind goes out into the bag then I have to drain down the toilet it's like loads of things has changed in my life but and you have to change the bag every other day drain the bag whenever I have gets half or quarter full because if it's really full that's bad but this is going to be my life. Um, I will try and do videos whenever I feel like it. Um, I'm still trying to get used to like, <clears throat> a bit weird to cough, um, sore-ish. Like, I'm still a bit sore, still a bit like not myself, but yes. And today I got a package of some stuff. This is how you change the bag. So there's the spray, there's wipes, there's swivel bags. There's cloth to clean around it and everything. There is more bag, the, the, the bag I'm wearing, have that. Um, other things, but that's 
the way it's gonna be but yeah and hopefully you guys will still like my content if I do more videos I will try I'm still covering it's a bit difficult to like bend down still and do certain things can't run can't do any heavy lifting um but this means I can go out more I'll feel more confident a little less anxious to know where the toilet is but I still want to know just in case you know output comes out and it gets too full I need to find somewhere to drain it that's the only thing I'm still anxious about but everything else is fine um, and they give you this cute little mints this is like a home delivery thing for on the stuff and they give you wee mints and I like love wee boxes with wee mints and everything I was like oh I'm so happy Um, there is some kind of new things I have in my life but oh here this is one of the things one of the things I have right here and um, when I was in the hospital my dad you know was just like but worried about me and there's things I liked in this catalog book thing and I want Harry Potter things for my birthday which is the 27th of November um, but he got this ordered for me when I was in the hospital it's a unicorn blanket so for Halloween I could go out looking like a unicorn and you put your hands in here and it's so cute so yeah and I got um. I love unicorns, Harry Potter, mermaids, mythical things, like, oh, I don't know why. Um, and I'm 16. But anyways, who cares? Not me. So, oh, my hair is ruined. Okay. I even got a unicorn mug. And I have hot chocolate in it right now. Let me just turn it around. Be very careful. So cute, right? Um, light up unicorn slippers. But they're upstairs, so I can't show you that. But still, you get the point. I'm very, very crazy with like stuff I like got. But and I'm getting Harry, Th Harry Potter stuff for my birthday, and then and then yeah. And um, I don't know if you heard that, but that was me passing the wind. I think I don't know, but because I don't know, whenever it happens, just it just happens if it wants to. Like I won't even know. Cause whenever you guys go to toilet, you have to, you have to push. I don't. It just comes out, even when I'm sleeping. And through the night, I have to get up and drain it sometimes, but that's okay. No urg urgencies, no straining at the toilet, no things like that. No, you know, thinking, oh, I can't walk to McDonald's or to test goes in case I have an urgency and I feel like I need a, I might need a good toilet and I might soil myself. Do you know what soil means? Well, man, we'll look it up because I'm not gonna say the other word. Because that's just weird. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys have no more about me now. You know. <sighs> but this is my new life. And hopefully it will it'll do me good. And all that stuff. So I look weird. I don't know why. I don't know where to look. But yeah, okay. Bye.